So. Now, are you thinking in this period in high school that you, I want to be like Bishop Ford, I want to be a minister? Hmm. Is, is that on your horizon? Toward the end of my high school uh, years, I think that, mm -hmm. that that began to loom as a po po possibility. I, mm -hmm. I was, I think, early on, like so many kids, you know, sort of uh, sports and music occupy mm -hmm. one's attention, and and uh, only later do I realize that this is an important form of community service. I still wasn't attracted to the idea of ministry, however. I just something about that that uh, kind of repelled me and I thought it was a bit uh, presumptuous and, and uh, you know to sort of they had to tell other people how to, they should live their lives so I wasn't attracted to that dimension but uh, some form of public leadership community service was clearly uh, attractive and Bishop Ford represented a style an option for me. Now, you said leadership what did leadership then, if you, if you can recall, high school, hmm. what did it mean? How did you exhibit, if at all, hmm. leadership? Were you hmm. president of a club or? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, bear in mind, in this period, uh, there, are, there were, as the Bible says, there were giants in the land. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's Martin Luther King uh, mm -hmm. Jr., there's Malcolm X, you know, the Nation of Islam is there in Chicago. And mm -hmm. so, Malcolm X is coming and going, and Elijah Muhammad, people like that. So there were a lot of sort of larger-than-life figures uh, on the scene in, in my life there in Chicago at the time. And so as a high school student, I recall beginning to listen to the speeches of some of these leaders. And certainly by the time I was a junior in high school, this was uh, a daily lunchtime activity where a group of uh, students at Morgan Park High School would sit and we'd have our lunch and someone would pop a tape into uh, uh, a cassette player and we'd listen to, you know, Eldridge Cleaver or, or Malcolm X or, or someone give a, a speech. And I, I recall wanting to imitate that, wanting mm -hmm. to, to be a, a provocative uh, speaker, uh, wanting to uh, mobilize people uh, to inspire uh, through through uh, through uh, both rhetoric and through service, mm -hmm. uh, and I recall that wedding those was was very important to my own understanding of leadership. So um, there was a uh, student council at uh, Morgan Park, and I did run for student council, mm -hmm. and you know part of it I think I, I won the election in part because I made a, a, a pretty, uh, what students regarded as compelling speech. Mm -hmm. But I also uh, tried to sort of back up the speech with pointing out instances in which, you know, that we had actually done some things to help improve the school. Mm -hmm. I would pick up garbage during the, the, uh, the break and, and urge people not to litter our mm -hmm. campus and little things like that. And because it, it, I was annoyed with leaders who only made good speeches, mm -hmm. but never sort of stuck around to do any dirty work. And Bishop Ford always taught us, you know, uh, because he wasn't himself particularly eloquent speaker. And I think he always felt uh, a bit of uh, inferiority next to some of the more eloquent, the silver tongue orators of mm -hmm. the black pulpit, uh, you know, King included, and Joseph Jackson in Chicago. Ford wasn't that kind of speaker. He was just kind of a, a homegrown, practical uh, exhorter. Uh, he, he'd exhort people. Um, but he said, look at their deeds. What have they built? Mm -hmm. And it was just almost this sort of Booker T. Washington style. You'd mm -hmm. have to have uh, skills of the hand and, 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 uh, as well as the, the, the head. And uh, he always, one thing just comes back to me now, he says whenever he walks into a new sanctuary or into a sanctuary, he's a guest speaker often, he said the first thing he do is go and visit the restroom. Yeah. Uh, not to use it, but to simply survey it. Mm -hmm. And he said he told him a lot about the leader, the pastor of that church, by looking at how he allowed the restroom for the, for, for the men and women to... Uh, to be presented. Mm -hmm. And he said if there was paper on the floor and it was unkempt, he knew that this leader was just, you know, it was more about words than about service. And 
So I don't know, that just registered with me uh, to be suspicious of people who were eloquent, mm -hmm. but who, uh, who had never built and never served.